Hello guys, welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? And in today's video, guys, we're going to demystify and show you uh, the next line of action on Ethereum, guys, and how you're going to position yourself for the next move of Ethereum. All right, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please kindly subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video and share with your guys and friends and stay tuned, guys. All right, so our question today and what we're going to answer today is, is Ethereum going to break down from here or is it going to break up from here, all right? So stay tuned, guys, as we dive in and show you what actually uh, the Ethereum market is showing us. All right, so before we, you know, it's always important for us to understand that the market doesn't move in a straight line, okay? So uh, it's all about emotion being displayed in the market. So the best thing that can happen to you as a trader is to understand these emotions, to know the patterns that each emotion is forming and how you can take advantage of it. All right, so we can see clearly from this market that we are just breaking uh, the all-time high, all right? The autumn awesome has been broken from here and the market is just retesting it, guys. You can see the retesting of the all-time high we are having here. All right, this is a weekly chart. So if you go down to daily, you can see that uh, we are just, this, this move down here is a retest of the all-time high. So, and if there's something you should take home from today's video is that one wave is not a corrective pattern, all right? So that is, if a market makes a sharp move down, it's and is one of the one of correct. So what the minimum requirement for this to be called a corrective structure is at least it must make a three wave. So for you to be profitable in learning, you must in trading, you must kindly learn all the corrective pattern. And that's why or we have an edge over the market. And that's the crystal ball we use to understand the market movement because we understand this corrective structures and we know them, we are easily identify them. So if, if that interests you and you want to learn how to uh, lead all this corrective structure correctly, uh, accurately and uh, how to identify them in every market, then you can contact me and I'll be glad to help you to remain profitable. All right, so that just by the way. So what we are seeing now is the next wave move up. So after we've had this move down, so we are seeing this sluggish kind of sluggish move up if you go to let's go to four hours which is one of my favorite time frame you can see from here we had what one two three four five okay so the next tips i'm going to draw with you guys today is that the minimum requirement for uh, any market move is three the minimum requirement is what is what and the maximum is five Okay, so it's either the market shows us a three wave or the market shows us a five wave. So after five, we're not looking for another one. All we are looking for is the correction after five. So we have seen clearly that the market has given us one, two, three, four, five correctively, and now the trend has been broken. So two things might happen here, two things, guys. And the first thing is this. Now, looking at this is might be number one. We have a, a one wave up which is a five wave internally, and we're having a correction. So after this correction, it's good. if this is gonna be the next uh, pullback, we will ha definitely have a spike here. There will be a spike here that confirms this and before we start coming down. But now the next target will be kindly uh, 1,000 plus. Uh, but if the market is going up from here, okay? So that will clearly be a clear uh, breakout of this uh, previous move here that is uh, the a clear breakout of this here so the best place to position yourself is to put an entry uh, order here guys put an entry order here for you to join the wave up okay so so the first thing is to uh, if you are looking for bullish trend because this pattern this three wave pattern we are looking for remember where our we are expecting a three wave and nobody can pinpoint exactly which kind of wave is going to form is it a running flat is it a regular flat and stuff like this so we can't clearly see it now but the only thing you are we can definitely trade the next wave all right so and the way we can trade the next wave is to position ourselves correctly and for us to position ourselves the first place to position yourself is to position yourself at this point guys in case if it's going up to form uh, uh, if it's going up to form a running flat so we will see definitely see here that the market will break from here and breaking the previous all-time high then trying to come down to this point making this actually a running flat then from there it goes 
and we have seen that happen already in the market. You can see that happening here before. You can see that this has happened in the past. And let me show you exactly how this has happened. You can see. Uh, uh, let me show you. I think this will also interest you that the market makes uh, one, two, three, four, five. You can see that in between here. All right, and the market did this after breaking the all-time high, and you see that. So this confirms that the market is going up so the sentiment might also applies here guys the sentiment might also applies here but if it's breaking down from here then we'll see that it's breaking down then that might not happen that is after it makes an impulse then there will be a breakdown so expect uh if you are taking a short position if you're taking a short position the best place to take a short position is to position yourself here that's position yourself here for short Time to position yourself here at the break of this definitely the market will uh, go lower lower lows okay so at the break of this and at the break of these guys the market will definitely go higher highs okay at the break of this the market is definitely go higher high so why are we taking this at this point it's just to be on a safe side all right because uh, risk management is a key when it comes to trading to be on a safe side that this from here downward is confirmed and from here upward is confirmed all right so that is how we are looking at on ethereum this week and uh, if you can see it from another angle then you know last time we traded this to be a head and shoulder and one thing about head and shoulder is that the actually the the target is always the neckline and which have seen that that the neckline being here definitely must have been our uh the neckline so it might remain a little push up uh for us to complete that neckline okay so we are expecting this wave either to go from here or to give us that impulse up and then we go all right so ethereum for now in, in the middle of nowhere because it is it's, anything can happen at this point guys anything can happen it can decide to break down and it can decide to break up all right, so like I've told you that Ethereum and Bitcoin, most of the two of them, they are actually they are moving together. And uh, the best season currently now is the altcoin, guys. Altcoin, all those shit coins. I think this is the best time for you to accumulate there because they actually have more potential of going up, blowing up, giving you a lot of percentage increase in your accounts than all these big, big, big guys here. Because they have big guys have done uh, pretty well in the past few months on all right okay so that is our take on ethereum now and uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel please kindly subscribe to this channel and uh, stay tuned because we are going to release in some of the shit coins that actually has a potential of blowing up giving you a lot of advantage uh, over the market by doubling and tripling and quadruple and you know 10x your money easily you know and stuff like that all right so kindly subscribe to this channel guys and share with your friends and like this video thank you